Welcome to In the Pocket, presented by Jack Pocket. Coach Leon Washington now joins me today. Now, Coach, you were a former running back for the Jets. Now you're a coach on the current team. But I want to jump right into your career on the Jets. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay. In 2006, on Christmas night versus Miami, not only did you have over 100 receiving yards, but you had a 64-yard reception that set up the game-winning field goal. Now walk me through that play and what you remember about it. I remember everything about that night. Yeah. First of all, it was Christmas night down in Florida. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm from Florida, so most of my family drove down from Jacksonville to Miami to come to that game. And I just remember, like, we had to win this game and win the next game against the Raiders to make the playoffs. Mm -hmm. So fourth quarter, crunch time, end of the game, uh, we call ace right, uh, half at screen right. And uh, I had great chip on the Sam linebacker. Chad Pennington got the ball off, got it to me, and I tell you what, now I made some guys miss on that play. Oh, yeah. Like, I think I made about four or five guys miss on that play. <laughs> Ran down the field, Stacy Tuck, get your block. I probably would have scored, but got us in field goal range. We kicked the field goal, went on to win that game, and then beat the Raiders the next game to make it to the playoffs. So for me, it was one of those moments like, man, you helped your team make the playoffs. It was huge for me. Okay, it's amazing that you bring up the Raiders because that's the next point I wanted to talk to you about. Right. So New Year's Eve, 2006, you beat the Oakland Raiders 23 to three, so pretty handily. Right. But the Jets secure their AFC playoff berth. Now, I know you got a touchdown in that game, but what was it like playing in a game that meant so much for the Jets postseason? It was everything. Mm -hmm. I just remember me being a rookie, not really knowing much. Like, I'm thinking coming into the NFL, everyone makes the playoffs every single year. So I just remember the veteran guys speaking during that week and talking about, like, what it meant to go into the postseason, and particularly Laverne's codes. And he just cut it plain and dry. Hey, if we win, we keep going. If we lose, we go home. So for me, I just wanted to go out there and help my team make plays. And I remember scoring a touchdown on a, uh, on a sweet play, mm -hmm. made a move, dove, dove in the end zone, and there we go. You know what's so impressive? You remember each play like so vividly and right. each detail. Does, does, do you think your whole career you can remember every play like that? Can't remember every play, but yeah. I can remember the important ones, the <laughs> significant ones. Been playing football all my life. I can remember plays from Pop Warner, high school, junior high school, all the way up. So the significant plays, the one that meant a lot, I can definitely recall. Those stick in the brain the most, I'm sure. Okay, so 2008, we're going to jump to. That year was your best season with the Jets. You had nine total touchdowns, 2,332 all-purpose yards. Right. And you were selected to the Pro Bowl while also making first-team All-Pro. What was your favorite memory from that season? Ooh, man, um, that's a tough one. Uh, a lot of great memories, mm -hmm. a lot of explosive plays. I think I led the league in the most plays over 40 yards, but particularly one play I remember playing the New England Patriots Thursday night football mm -hmm. um, and scoring a kickoff return um, to help us go up early in the game. And uh, I just remember New England always tried to kick away from me. Um, they aborted the back side. The back side three folded too tight. I took it around the back end and scored a touchdown on the New England Patriots. So um, that was a huge play for our team. We ended up winning that game in overtime. Brett Favre led us back um, against Matt Castle because Tom Brady was injured and just making a ton of plays that game and it was special. I mean, hey, a win against a division rival is always special, yeah, so no that's doubt. perfect. So you mentioned kickoff returns. Now, your kickoff return touchdowns in your career are tied for the most in NFL history with eight. What do you think made you so successful on kickoff returns and how do you try to teach your current players some of those tricks and tips? Well, for me, it's all about preparation mm -hmm. um, and also coaching. Um, I had some of the greatest coaches to coach special teams in this league. Start with Mike Westhoff here with the New York Jets and then Brian Schneider with the Seattle Seahawks. So coaching was the first thing because I'm a coach now, so I'm going to get coach <laughs> credit. <laughs> um, and then secondly, my preparation, um, I felt like in practice, I'm one of the few players ever in the history of the game to score in practice. Because if you score in practice, you're scoring the game. And so what I try to teach guys, is, especially Braxton Berrios, who's excellent in his own right already, is preparing yourself, knowing the return scheme, all right, knowing how the teams are trying to stop us and how can, what can we do to attack them. So preparing yourself the right way, catching the ball coming forward, and preparing yourself in practice is the key. I think having a coach 
who was so successful is probably the most helpful thing for right. any of those players, but I'm sure they love having you. But okay, speaking of these current players, what's your favorite part about having played for the Jets, but now being a part of the coaching staff for that same team? For me, it's, just, it's all about blood, sweat, and tears, right? All right, I was drafted by this organization. You know, I broke my leg, I put blood on the line, I sweated in practice, I cried over the games that we lost. So it means a little bit more to me because I actually came out here for three and a half years, close to four years, and put in the work. So to come back and be able to give back to the game, to share my experiences, and particularly with this organization, I'm forever grateful. So thank you, Mr. Johnson. Thank you, Joe Douglas. Thank you, Robert Sala, for that great pitch and getting me back here to come, come coach. And our job is not done yet, so I'm looking forward to owning this division here in the AFC East and making a bunch of playoff games and winning championships. So it's going to be a great ride. Coach, thanks so much for joining us in the pocket presented by Jack Pocket. We've learned so much about your career and your opportunities that lie ahead with the Jets. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Jets fans, tap into millions with Jack Pocket. Jack Pocket lets you play your favorite lottery games like Powerball and Mega Millions right from your couch or when you're tailgating. Go to the App Store to download Jack Pocket and use code JETS for a free lottery ticket. That's code JETS for a free lottery ticket at jackpocket.com slash TOS for full terms of service.